Salient is a multi-purpose theme that would fit any niche website you want to build. For illustration purposes, we have imported one of Salient demo sites. This is the home page. It has a menu on the top, a nice slider that has some text, and the page content that includes a call to action section. And on the bottom, we have our footer widget area. Let's jump to the WordPress admin to see how we can translate the different parts of this page. First, you need to install and activate the Salient theme along with its required plugins. You also need to install and activate the WPML core plugins. In this tutorial, we're using WPML's Advanced Translation Editor, which allows you to translate the content on your site automatically. To activate it, navigate to WPML, Settings, under the How to Translate Posts and Pages section, choose to use the Advanced Translation Editor. Now, let's go ahead and translate our home page. Navigate to Pages, All Pages, and here is our home page. Click the plus icon under the language you want to translate your page into. This takes you to the Advanced Translation Editor screen. Click the Translate Automatically button to add the machine translation to the page. Review the translation and make sure it's accurate. Now click Finish, then Complete to publish the translation. You can follow exactly the same steps to translate your posts and portfolio items. Before displaying the translated page on the front end, let's go ahead and translate the home page slider. Simply go to Home Slider, All Sides, and as you can see, our home page slider contains three slides. Click the plus icon to translate the slide. Again, this takes you to the Advanced Translation Editor. Add the translated content to the slide, save the translation, then set it to complete. Repeat the same steps to translate all the slides of the home page. It's worth mentioning that you can translate the Nectar sliders in a similar fashion. Let's check out the translated version of the home page on the front end. As you can see, the slider text is translated along with the page content. Yet, the call to action section is not translated. Let's sort that out. You can set the default language call to action text by navigating to salient, call to action. Here, you can set the call to action texts. To translate these strings along with any other string that comes from the theme options, navigate to WPML, string translation, and filter the list to show the strings under the admin text salient redux text domain. Here are the strings that we want to translate. Click the translations link and add the translated content. Then tick the translation is complete checkbox and save the translation. You can also send the strings to be translated by a local translator or a professional translation service by selecting these strings and adding them to the translation basket. You can also translate the widgets from the string translation screen. All the widget strings are registered under the widgets text domain. Let's go ahead and translate the footer widgets. Again, click the translations link and add the translated content. Mark the translation as complete and save. Let's take a look at the page on the front end. As you can see, the call to action in the footer widget is translated. The last element that you want to translate on the page is the menu. Before we proceed with translating the menu, you need to make sure that all the pages and posts that are included in the menu are translated. Now navigate to WPML, WP Menu Sync, and click the Sync button. Choose all the menu items that you want to sync to the secondary language and hit the Apply Changes button. With that, you learned how to build a multilingual website using Salient theme and WPML. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.